Well, Fred and Michael, we are learning more information about what happened in the moment before that speeding train jumped the tracks in the Bronx. Uh, two senior law enforcement sources uh, tell CNN producer Shimon Prokopez that the train's engineer, William Rockefeller, told investigators on the scene he was dazed in the moments leading up to the crash and he didn't know what happened. Uh, when asked by investigators was he what he essentially was thinking about, the engineer said he couldn't say. Now, we should note other media outlets have reported that Rockefeller uh, admitted to falling asleep. However, the official stress that the engineer never said he actually fell asleep. Uh, Rockefeller also told investigators on site that the brakes uh, had failed him. Uh, but again, we know that the NTSB, they will be looking into whether fatigue played a role. And of course, that is routine. One other point, we know that the union has not yet made any comments or they're not commenting on this uh, new revelation that apparently he told investigators that he was dazed in the moments leading up to the crash. And so, Renee, when you talk about also looking into whether fatigue played a role here, if that's what's meant by in a daze, do we know anything about how long he had been working? What would constitute or what would help justify perhaps being sleepy, being um, overly fatigued, if that's what's meant by in a daze? Right. So at this point, Fred, we don't know what his work schedule uh, was in the days leading up to this. We do know, however, that that is something that the NTSB is working to get to the bottom of. They're going to be uh, looking at what his work schedule was and what his activities were for the last 72 hours so they can try and figure out possibly was this person tired while uh, he was at work. We do know this as far as the work hours go and what the rules are. Uh, they can only work 12 hours. Uh, they can work 16 hours, but only if they have four hours of rest. So we know those mm -hmm. are the rules. Now, what was he doing in those days? What was his schedule like in the days leading up to the crash? We still don't know that, but mm -hmm. you can bet investigators are zeroing in on that, Fred. All right. Mm -hmm. Renee Marsh, thanks so much.